Hi there. In previous video, I have shown you how to connect to MySQL database with the help of MySQLi method. So for that, we use object-oriented programming method to access to this particular database. Now, what we will do in this video is we will try to access the content from the table that we created. For that, let's create a variable name results equals to mysqli and we will call for query this will have function that will select from test underscore table this is our table okay now this is my database inside which i have table name test underscore table Okay, and it has two entries in there. Okay, so we will try to access that. Now let's type in print. Okay, so let's go ahead and create table with border equals to one. Okay. right now while we are on that particular row it should fetch the result let's type in fetch underscore as well okay so inside this while loop we will simply print out each and every row okay so simply type in first one here we will call for row named as number dot then td again okay now i'm going to just copy paste for other columns as well we have total four columns number age name and location you can change or if you want so we have order number name age and location okay now after that simply print slash tr okay and outside our while loop we will print end of table okay so this is our code you can pause the video and go through this Okay, so just few changes here. Let's make this one completely capital so that it looks like our SQL query. Select start from test table. Okay, now we will execute this. Let me just change the URL, and you can see the data from the table is displayed here. So if you Go to PHP my admin and check the number of entries. You'll find that we have two entries, and exact same two entries are now displayed with the help of MySQLi on our page. So you can pause the video and go through this portion of code that accesses the database content and displays on our 